What's the point of telling everybody about your brand new program if nobody is paying attention? It always reminds me of that Erica Badu song, that line where she says, I'm an artist and I'm sensitive about my ish. Yeah, that's me. I'm an artist and I am sensitive about my stuff, okay? Hey, hey, Courtney Sanders here. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new to me, I'm a full-time online life and business coach as well as wife and mom. I wear all the hats and do all the things, but I do it because I'm so passionate about helping you turn your success story into a six or seven figure coaching brand. And about that, in this video, I wanna to talk to you about how you can actually sell out your group coaching programs before they even begin. So actually, if you check out this video that I just did recently, I share how I have generated over $700,000 in counting, it'll probably be a million by the time we get to the end of the year, in just one coaching program. And I know that that is really extraordinary in the coaching industry. Again, a lot of people aren't even generating that in their entire business. And I've had one coaching program that has done that. But another crazy thing about it is not just the revenue that it has generated, generated, but the amount of sales we got for that program before the program even started. So the program in question that I'm talking about is the Next Big Name Bootcamp. You can learn all about it in the description below. We even have a video here where I did a live walkthrough just explaining what the program is and taking you behind the scenes to see what it looks like. But the crazy thing is we sold over a half million dollars worth of that program before I even started it. So I still had to build the program, but I was just getting people enrolled. And so that's something that I really love to do. I love when I'm coming up with a new program to sell it before I even, you know, build the program, really essentially to validate it. So obviously I have, you know, the trainings lined out and the outline and everything is kind of ready to go behind the scenes, but I like to sell it and then do it live because again, it validates that this is something that people actually want from you and that they want to be coached by you on this subject. So if you're wondering how you can pull that off and how you can sell out your coaching program before it even begins, we're going to get into it right now. Okay, the first reason why I was able to sell out my coaching program before it even begins and how you can do the same is because I am very, very strategic about focusing on engagement before I focus on sales. And this is so important, most people don't realize this, but before anyone can pay you money, they have to be paying attention. And so I am a big stickler. I will not do a promotion. I will not do a launch until I feel like I am getting adequate engagement either on my social media or with my email list. So oftentimes I will spend a few days or even a few weeks if that's what it takes creating engaging content, not about the subject of my program or on the launch or anything around that, but just general content that engages my audience just to make sure that my audience is ready and that they're paying attention to what I have to say because what's the point of telling everybody about your brand new program if nobody is paying attention? So I'm a stickler about that. Um, it always reminds me of that Erica Badu song, that line where she says, I'm an artist and I'm sensitive about my ish. Yeah, that's me. I'm an artist and I am sensitive about my stuff, okay? So I make sure that everybody is engaged with my brand. Everybody is focusing on what I have going on. And then from there, I begin the process to promote any of my coaching programs and then sell it out from there. All right, the next thing I do that allows me to sell my coaching programs before it even begins, and this is gonna sound kind of strange, but I focus on my own journey. So I've said this in previous videos, but you can't forget that we live in like a reality TV age, a reality TV type society. And so people, even though they're following you because they want your information, they recognize that you're a coach and that you can help them achieve things, they also follow you because they like watching you. They like watching your story and how you're achieving things on the journey. And so part of the reason why I focus on my own journey is because I know it's gonna be that much easier to sell my programs if I focus focus on where I'm going in my life. So if I'm focusing on, okay, these are the goals that I'm trying to hit in my business and I'm documenting that and I'm showing people the steps I'm taking to achieve my own goals, whether it's in my personal life with my kids or my marriage or traveling or wealth building. I talk about that a lot as well. In fact, if you check out my podcast, The Courtney Sanders Show, I will often do episodes where I'm not teaching about wealth creation per se, but I'm just sharing. This is what my husband and I are really bouncing ideas off of, of each other around when it comes to how we can create generational wealth for my children. And people are really into that. You're like, they're like, oh, okay. These are the steps that they're taking now. This is the plan that they have going on. People love that. So you wanna focus on your own journey. Where are you going next? What goals are you still trying to achieve? And ask yourself, are you regularly documenting that? Because that does capture people's attention. And that goes back to the first point that I mentioned about how I make sure that I get people's engagement before I try to get the sale, right? I get people's attention before I try to get their money. One of the easiest ways to get their attention is just simply to focus on your own journey and document and show that journey along the way. 
All right, the third thing that I do, and this is in connection with the second part about documenting your journey, is that I mention my milestones. So again, people are watching you. Again, yes, they know you're a coach, that you have this information and that you can help them, but they're watching you. Are you walking your talk? Are you living out the lifestyle of someone who has the results that you say you have, right? They're watching you to see if that is all the case. But as you achieve your own milestones in your own life, in your own business, in whatever, you wanna make sure you mention those milestones because here's the thing, people wanna be coached by coaches who are on the winning team. And so as you document your journey and you're celebrating your victories and you're showing all the milestones that you're hitting, it lets people know, oh, we're, we're dealing with a winner here. Like we're dealing with someone who knows how to get results and who knows how to achieve goals. And it doesn't always have to be related to your niche or your business. In fact, I got a lot of people reaching out to me when I mentioned that I had completed my MBA. So also if you've been following me on this YouTube channel for a while, you know that for a very long time, every month I was doing these vlogs showing about my MBA journey and how I was um, achieving this process of getting my degree while working from home and building this business and you know dealing with my kids and all of that. And I successfully completed my degree. I'm so excited about it. And so I am now Courtney Sanders MBA. Yes, I have my MBA. That is a milestone that I've mentioned. Again, not because it per se has anything to do with my business, but because when people see, oh, that was the goal that she was going after, she actually achieved it, it gives them more confidence that I can help them achieve their goals and it makes them want to join my coaching programs. And so make sure that you are mentioning your milestones because it's almost like pre-selling. Like if you do what I'm talking about, if you make sure your engagement is high on your social media, if you're documenting your journey and if you're mentioning your milestones, you'll find that you actually don't have to sell so hard when you are letting people people know about your programs, people will be ready and waiting to join your next thing. All right, I have more where that came from, but first I wanna hear from you. What group coaching program are you working on? Share in the comments below. All right, the fourth thing that I do in order to sell out my group coaching programs before they even start is, I do offer beta pricing. So if it's a brand new program, and I did do this with the next big name, I let people know like, hey, this is a new training that I will be creating. Here's everything that we're gonna be talking about. Again, I already have the outline. We've already created the worksheets. Like everything is in the back on ice, right? It's just a matter of actually teaching it live with my audience. And so I essentially let them know as a reward and a bonus for you taking a chance on yourself and on me by joining this program, this brand new program that I've never released before, I am offering beta pricing. So you can get in at a price that is never ever going to be, right? And my coaching program is no longer at the price that the original beta members joined, but that was their reward for being some of the first people to kind of come in and almost trial the program in the beginning as I was building it. And so as I completed the program and I made even greater investments in it, I hired an instructional design team to help me make sure that the program was, you know, gonna help people get the results and, you know, take all of my knowledge and that it was packaged well. I reshot all of the videos to make them higher quality. So as I continue to make investments in the program, the price went up, but all of my members who are in there now who joined me during the beta round, they're super excited that they got in at that beta pricing. And so you'll find that if you are thinking about creating a new coaching program and you haven't even launched it, if you truly wanna sell out, like sell out all of your spots before it's uh, even been created, make sure that you're offering beta pricing because it gives people an incentive to join it now versus later after the program is finished. All right, and the fifth thing I did along those lines is I also offered beta bonuses. So there was an inherent bonus in the sense that if you joined me in the beta round, you were with me live as I was creating the trainings. And so after each training, there was a, a, a coaching call, a group coaching call directly with me because I was building the program live. And so it was like, not only are you getting in with this beta pricing, you were also getting all of these beta bonuses that other people who joined the program are not gonna be able to get, right? So now we have the platform where you can submit your coaches directly to me me and my team of coaches. And my coaches run the coaching calls that happen every two weeks. But the people who join me during that beta round, they got you know live up close personal access to me as I was building it and they got to ask their questions in real time as I was creating the program. So think about what are some inherent bonuses that people are gonna get as a result of joining with you. Also, I had bonus trainings. My clients were asking questions about how do we set up our LLCs? How do we build business credit? And I had experts from my network and you know my friends in business come on and teach bonus trainings, again, just to people who join inside of those beta rounds. So beta pricing, beta bonuses, are big drivers to help you sell out your coaching program before it even begins. 
All right, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, I know you're gonna love the coaching program, the next big name boot camp. If you wanna learn all about it, including everything that's included, go ahead and click the link below where you can apply. And just as long as your business is something that we can help you with, you'll have an opportunity to speak to our enrollment coaches and you can join the program. So click the link below to apply. All right, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And if you want even more where this came from, make sure you are subscribed to my podcast, The Courtney Sanders Show on both iTunes and Spotify. And if you want even more where my podcast comes from and my YouTube videos come from, you're gonna love my Instagram. I share even more bite-sized tips just like this inside of my Instagram, as well as the behind the scenes of my life and my stories. And with that, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.